Good morning. It is the new year. It is January 2nd, 2018. I guess I didn't make good on my promise of doing something with this channel uh, during break. As you can see, that beeping is back. It's like the third time this year, and it's a good way to greet the new year, I guess, with me with the beeping coming back and all. Anyway, I just did some counting prior to this video. We have 100 days of school exactly a hundred days of school left. I mean, could you believe that? It's just, it's going, it's going really fast. Um, I know a lot of people are going to come back all tired and groggy, but I'm not because I told that, I told you guys, I did that month of relaxation and I, it, it made a big difference. Um, I feel a lot more refreshed, like coming back my fifth year, um, from winter break, there were times where I come back tired or still grumpy or just not ready. But this year I feel ready because like, I come back here, there's a hundred days left, that's a hundred opportunities to teach my kids something, and, you know, that's, that's, that's crazy, because, like, before I know it's going to be June 7th, and the school year is going to be over, and in these next hundred days, I really do plan on making a big difference in their lives, doing what I get, whatever I can possible to make sure that they do a great job, um, we're going to start off this week, this is a, rebuilding week basically um, where we're just reviewing all the old concepts and this is a good time for me to just um, get myself back warmed up get myself into the teaching groove again um, if you could look at it my classroom is really barren right now um, I took out all the different um, all the decorations and everything um, just mainly because you know just when I left I just wanted my boards clean I wanted I reorganized my um, my seating arrangements as you could see um, because, you know, it's a new, new year, I really want to start it off. It's a good opportunity to really get their, get them back into the groove. Got to remind them of the procedures again, which is good because, you know, they probably forgot it by now. And I, it's not just them, just me too, right? I forget my procedures a lot of the time too. And it's really important to give ourselves that quick reminder. It's really important. Um, aside from that, I really hope that this remaining hundred days will go well because before I know it, it's just going to be done. Um, I mean, hundred days is still a long time. You know, I'm not counting the, I'm not counting the weekends or anything, but, uh, you know, if, let's just face it. Like once that counter starts, once people start ticking, people are going to start counting on like day, day 70, day 170, 150 or something. And then like people are just going to be like 30 days till break and stuff. And and once again, I'm not counting down because I'm waiting for summer. I'm counting down because I'm trying to get as much done in that 100 days. And also, if I frame it in my own mind, right? Teaching is a whole thing about mindset. If I frame it in my mind that I am only having 100 days, I have an opportunity to teach these kids for 100 more days then, you know, it changes the paradigm, you know, it makes you think, dang, that's not that much time left. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog. We're going to, we're right back into it. I have a lot of setting up to do. Um, I look forward to the remaining time that I have with these kids and I um, look forward to getting back, getting them back on track. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. All right. Bye.